Pika, 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 Excuse me! A new seven star, a mighty terror raid, and it's... Pikachu? Pikachu! For real though, I get why. It's Pokemon Day. We're getting a Pokemon Presents that will almost certainly announce and reveal the DLC for Scarlet and Violet, and that's very exciting. And on the lead up to that then, we get to repeatedly and mercilessly destroy a mighty Pikachu for massive amounts of rewards. And I do mean destroy because I cannot imagine a world in which a terror raid for Pikachu is going to be too challenging. Obviously, Pikachu's base stats as a pre-evolution are uh, to be desired, and I would be very surprised if they gave a Terror Raid Pokemon an item, so that kind of rules out a Light Ball or an Eviolite to kind of give the Pikachu some pep. It's not impossible, I suppose, but even with those two items, we are still looking at what will be undoubtedly the easiest of the four big Terror Raids so far, unless they do something just completely randomly and just artificially amp the Pikachu for some reason, but that would be a bit random and a little bit unfair. It will also more than likely have its hidden ability in Lightning Rod, as every other mighty 7-star Terror Raid so far has had the hidden ability. This doesn't really change our effect much for us. So uh, let's get into my uh, concept for a massive hard counter to this Terror Raid, a Pokemon and setup that will make it effortless for you to beat. We have an electric Pokemon with water terror type, so we're definitely going to get hit by electric moves and water moves. That is for sure, that follows the pattern. Electric can be probably the classic Thunderbolt or the Thunder, if we somehow have like a rain dance coming in here, which Pikachu can learn to make the Thunder 100%. I could totally see rain dance being the bonus extra move it gets to do as soon as the terror raid starts, just to mix things up. In fact, I think that's more likely than not, and then Thunder is going to hurt. Or at least it will hurt unless we choose a Pokemon that doesn't care about electric attacks. Then we have to look at the water move. It kind of has to be Surf. The only offensive water move that a Pikachu is capable of learning is Surf. That or Terra Blast if they choose to give it. But I doubt that will be the case. So we're definitely looking at a Pikachu bringing some special attack to the table, as Surf is, of course, a special move, as is Thunder. The other coverage, then, we might end up having some Fairy in a Play Rough. That seems more than likely. Potentially some Grass going on here, and potentially even a Fighting move, too. But none of them are all too threatening possibilities, especially when we look at the counter Pokemon of choice. And without further ado then, actually one of my favorite all-time Pokemon, we're going for Lilligant. Pure grass, and it is definitely, in my book, the way to go. Of course, grass resists both water and electric, which is the main thing that we're after, and it's not going to get ruined by any fairy or fighting or grass or any potential coverage we might be up against. And while Lilligant isn't especially bulky, uh, a uh, constant 70 or 75 across health defense and special defense is definitely fine. 110 special attack is very decent too when it comes to actually taking the Pikachu down. So... You might be thinking then, well, why Lilligant specifically? There's plenty of pure grass or grass-involved Pokemon that would have an equal advantage. And while true, Lilligant very uniquely, or at least uniquely amongst grass Pokemon, can learn the move Quiver Dance. And Quiver Dance is excellent here. The speed is whatever, but the special defense up, i.e. to make yourself tanky against both Thunder and Surf, and then the special attack up, i.e. to make you hit very hard against the Pikachu, is perfect. Setting up with three, four Quiver Dances and we will be well on our way. Also, then, we go into the rest of the moveset. We and uniquely for Lilligant, compared to the pre-prepared Pokemon for all the other Terror Raids, can naturally just remember all four of the moves we need, so no TM hunting required, which obviously is a nice little time and effort saver. We have a Giga Drain to keep ourselves healthy if we need to have a quick restore while still applying good damage to the Water Pikachu. We have ourselves Energy Ball as our main way of producing damage, 
damage. This is the choice, as it also has a chance to lower the Pikachu's special defense to amp up our damage even more, as sadly Lilligant doesn't have another way to guarantee it, but it really will not be necessary. Finally then, we have Leech Seed, which will just last the entire Terra Raid, much like Aqua Ring on the Vaporeon to counter Greninja was a big factor in making that succeed, while also adding a little bit of damage too, and it really just takes the edge off, though this fourth slot you can very much tailor to your own personal preference. Item-wise, then, we have to use the Covert Cloak so that we resist all of the secondary paralysis that might well be coming our way from a electric move user. And then, of course, the rest of the setup is as you might imagine. Max EVs in health and special attack, max IVs in everything but attack, and a modest nature to pump that special attack even more. And then, yes, of course, level 100, and the ability of the Ligant doesn't really matter because none of the options are really going to be that useful. However, I would use Leaf Guard specifically, the hidden ability, as this will prevent you from being statist while sunlight is here. Why might that be useful? Well, Lilligant can learn Sunny Day, and if Pikachu is going to come out the gate with some guaranteed paralysis moves that Covert Cloak won't cover, well then we can just replace Leech Seed with Sunny Day using this ability to be immune to any paralysis shenanigans, which will also then free up our item slot to be perhaps Life Orb or something more defensive to make things even easier than they already were. So yeah, there really is very little doubt in my mind that this especially good pure grass Pokemon with this setup will have a cruise control of an easy time against the Pikachu. Obviously, there might be some surprise, there might be a nasty mix-up, there might be something that they've done unique for this one, as it is just a Pikachu to go along with Pokemon Day, and there might be something significant or special, but on the pure surface of it, looking at Pikachu's movesets, looking at the Water Terror and his base Electro, yeah, you can't really do better than a hard-to-kill, hard-hitting grass Pokemon like Lilligant, and that's really exciting. Honestly, this one was quite fun to prepare because it really was so straightforward. I would love to know what you guys are thinking, what uh, you are looking at doing, and uh, very much then, uh, well, good luck with your own prep. It won't be long until we're fighting it, just a couple days. Oh, and if you want to know where to get a Lilligant, they are wandering quite commonly around this little body of water over near this town, and that's all well and good for you to go acquire your own. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more, consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good bye. <laughs> Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye